is going to be a really interesting day. We've got a number of dogs, hey, a number of new dogs in here. And um, what we're going to do is train a number of dogs at the same time. Say, many of these dogs are rescue dogs or new dogs that have just come. So, um, <laughs> we're going to deal with a whole bunch of them at the same time. As well as show that this is Maisie's last piece <clears throat> of puppy imprinting. Good girl, Maze. Now, Maisie stayed two weeks longer than Pepper, and she's going to go home on Sunday. So, enough. Thank you. Maisie has to behave, even if the dogs around her don't. So this will be interesting. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dogs in here. We're going to train them all at the same time. Now, if we look at the dogs, the Karen over here, right here, Stephen. The Karen over here, that's Max. He just came last week. Um, he's from Karen Rescue. He's a little tougher than what the foster home was prepared to deal with. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just that age where he thinks he owns the home. We've got the docks over here. Lily D, stop it. Lily D, who thinks she owns Say, hey, hey, there's nothing wrong with these dogs except the people that raised them didn't do what they should have done. We've got Frankie, an Airedale puppy. Frankie is uh, about 12 weeks old. Um, Frankie is a little overwhelmed this is by... Frankie. This is Frankie. Oh, I'm sorry. Frankie's a wonderful dog. Frankie's going to be here about one more month. He's going to be a great family companion. Good girl, Frankie. Good girl. Frankie's first time in this kind of situation. I've had her where it's more calm. <laughs> now we get to the chaos. And it's a little more, but she's good. Over here we have Zach. Say, <laughs> now Zach's lot in life um, is to grow up to be a service dog for a veteran. He was donated by a breeder. Um, for, like, probably 15 weeks old now. Um, he's the sweetest thing in the world, but he just doesn't know anything. So it's our job whether we teach him good things or not so good things, and my intention is that he learns good things. This is his first time in a class. It's Karen's first time. It's Lily's. She was in the class last night just to walk around. It was, um, it's Frankie's first time in this situation. Okay, we have Noah, so come on up. Noah met his new people last night. He could not have been any better. So these are the dogs that are the outside dogs in for training. Okay, Julie, bring him over. Uh, bring Maggie over. Bring. Do you wanna? You wanna? Bring her? You wanna bring her? On the short lead. Now, the best way to condition puppies is to simply do it. Hey, don't be a dachshund. Good dog. Now put that half hitch around him because he's going to be very distracted. Maggie, too, put that half inch around her belly. This is very distracting. Noah's actually fine with it. <laughs> Noah's kind of grown up with it. That dog is coming along so good. Now, your job is to walk past all these puppies, not let them stand and stare at Walk past. Walk past. Good dog. Lots of praise. Come on, Z. Good job. Put your hands shorter. Don't try to steer her. That's it. Easy, Kate. Easy, Kate. Don't run into the dogs. Easy. The dogs that are tied have to learn they don't have the right. You stay far enough. Dale, you're right there where that dachshund could jump.
jump on her. Oh, don't do that. Need it, because it. this is teaching your own dog to trust. Good job. There you go. Good job. No step. With me. Good. Now, every dog thinks in a unique way. So, if good boy, Zach, you're fine. Good boy, Zach. Good boy. Easy. Easy, Kate. Easy. They need to hear you. Easy. Max, Max, you're fine. You're fine. Hey, hey. Hey. You're fine. Good girl. Hey. Watch You don't want to walk close enough. A dog that's frustrated may very well grab your leg as you go by. Because this is fear. He's in a position. He can't run. He can't fight. Hey. You're fine. Good boy. Okay. Halt. Wait. Now spread them out a little bit. Come on, Maggie. Come on, Maggie. There you go. You gotta give your dog the right message too. 
Now that is, come on with me. We're not messing around here. With me. That's it. Good job. Praise her. There you go. There you go. Now that's a dog that was very afraid of other dogs. She's doing really well. Good boy, Zaggy. There you go. With me. Excellent. Okay, Cap. With me. With me. With me. With me. Girl. Now you can praise Kate. She needs to hear you praise her from across the room. Easy, Kate. Easy. Okay, now be careful about praising her when she's being silly. You know, it's a real fine line. So you're using your voice to tweak her behavior. Now she would be better off with a cue calmer, and we will one day. She's actually really doing fine. As a puppy, we don't want to put good girl, Maze. Easy, Maisie. Easy. Good. Easy. Brandy, come on. Easy. Good job. Now this is difficult. Maisie is doing really well. Hey, easy. Wait. Wait. Good. Wait. Maisie is doing really well in her training, but this is above and beyond normal distraction. Now you, quiet. Now, okay, now, because I'm kind of in charge of these, most of these, Maisie is actually getting ignored a lot. I'm watching those two, so she just has to be along for the ride. Which is what happens when we get busy. We cannot convince the dog we're going to focus on them or watch them the entire time. We have to walk like we're in a hurry. We have to walk like it's in the rain. We have to walk like we're in a crowded area talking to people. We cannot walk along when we train the dog and keep our focus on the dog and the world revolves around the dog. And then when you get out in the world, that isn't true. Easy, Maze. Come on, Maze. Come on. Good dog. Easy. Good dog. Easy. Hey. Easy. Come on. Good job. This puppy is doing really good. She goes home on Sunday. And what's really fun is, this is a golden doodle, um, another golden doodle, a mini golden doodle that came before yesterday. The Georgie, hey, she came from where? Michigan. Michigan. Georgie will be joining the class probably. Good job. So, how would we say this class? is doing for these dogs. Okay. Did anybody have any problems with their dogs? No. Now that kind of proves that when we do it right, the dog has very few problems. It's when we do it wrong that we set the dog up. Meaning, you're too close to another dog, you're crowding environment, you let another dog crowd you, you get distracted from your own dog, you're not paying attention. That's when you have problems. When dogs are taught to be patient and calm, we end up with good girl Lily, good girl Frankie, good girl Maisie, good boy Zachy, good girl Kate, good girl Brandy, good girl, good boy Noah, good girl Mag, good girl Z, good boy Otis. We end up with harmony. This is where it's at. Not obedience. Not working them like you're going to a show. This calmness, so if I want to watch the kids play baseball, this is it. If I want to go for a walk and stop at the farmer's market, Otis is appropriate. When you walk down the street just for a nice walk, 
You don't want to have to hold the dog back and fight with it. You want to be able to visit with neighbors that you meet. When Noah goes with his new people and he's got his service dog vest on, he has to walk around exactly like he is now. We can't teach him one way and then expect him to perform a different. When a veteran finally ends up with Zachy and they have a meeting to go to, guess what we're going to want him to do? Exactly that. When we take our dog out to a grocery store, to the VA clinic, that's exactly what we're going to want, isn't it? Now, in Kate, or the Karen too, we can't place him if he's as he's bossy and obnoxious. Hey, you knock that off. See, he's targeting dogs. Now, you're just saying, Lee, will you step on that, Stephen? You be Lee easy. Lee. Here, you're holding him tight. Easy, Maisie. You leave it. Now, that's easy, enough. Maisie. You can't hold this Lee, dog back. Lee. When he's 150 pounds, well, not quite that tall, but when he's 150 pounds, you aren't going to be holding him back. Easy, so if you're going to tighten that lead, you tighten it. Good boy. Come on, Otis, let's go for a walk. Won't this be fun? Good, Maisie. Okay, you step away. Good, easy. Good, Julia's separation anxiety. Come on. Fine, Maisie. Come on. Come on. Good, leave it. That's what it should look like. You should not hold a great dang back. She doesn't even like you. Pay attention to me. Good dog. These puppies should not be threatened because some big crazy dog is staring down at them. That's intimidation. Easy Max. Easy Max. Yeah, but that's important. I deliberately did that. Easy. Because this dog has been threatening Max. I want Max to see that he doesn't have to worry. So if, in fact, this dog is allowed to continue that, he's going to worry and he's going to hate Great Danes. We don't want that. Leave it. As your security guard, he shouldn't walk around with his gun drawn threatening people. He'll chase all your customers away. He has to be large and in charge, but calm and controlled, or he scares people. You're fine. Good boy, Otis. Loose lead. That's the key. Make sense to everybody? Cool. Okay, we'll take a break. That causes them to act the way they do. So what we're seeing in all these dogs is the reflection of somebody else's handling. Now, which dogs have we not seen problems in? She handled him, but not gushed over him, not spoiled him rotten. Frankie has not been spoiled rotten. Max hasn't. He was locked in a crate a lot of the day. Noah certainly hasn't had a problem. Kate's not a problem. What are the dogs in here that have had any issues? The ones that are owned by people who love them. Those are the dogs that usually have the biggest problems. And it's not a problem to love them. It's a problem to love them so much you don't make them do things. Or to have someone else allow them to do things. And then we have to fix it. And, and we're going to do the same that. thing for you as it does for me. It's important that when she hears that word easy, she has a good perception of what that means. If it means one thing for you and another thing for me, how can she do it? She can't. Easy. Can't Good, it. easy. So we can't lie to them and say it's okay. We're not doing the dog any favors. Enough. Enough. Now I'm not putting up with it from you either. Quiet. Now, no matter 
what's going on, whether it's a motion exercise, a stationary exercise, or a handling exercise, the correction has to be predictable or it causes fear. I cannot chase this dog around with a stick. I cannot come over and slap the dog. I cannot do that stuff if I'm telling her to trust me out there. Maisie, that's mine. Mine. Thank you. Mine. Thank you. As with the mother dog, all corrections come with a bite or a nip on the neck. And you can't do that with anything except the collar and leash. Well, we're going to teach Maisie how to walk politely. Now, she walks on a lead. On a long line, she's wonderful. She does with me. She comes to my side. She's really doing good. But if you were going to walk through the farmer's market with this dog the way she is, she would be on both sides all over the place. That's one of the biggest problems. So when we want a dog to have a place identified where they should walk, we need to teach them very precisely. Because their concept of that command, is that will determine what they do with that command when you give it. Hey, you better not. That's it. Tie the dog up. That'll do it. Mine. Okay, now this is very important. Easy. Easy. Good, easy. Easy. If that dog got loose and got tangled in a fence and she panics, Maisie, that's mine. Easy. Oh, my adoring public. Easy. Good, easy. She needs to keep her head about her or she's going to be hurt. We're not going to rush to untangle her. She'll learn to use the brain. Okay, little woman. You ready? Want to learn to be a good dog? No, she does not. Oh, two bold bulls. <laughs> That's attractive. <laughs> All right. That'll work for you right now. We need a replacement. Wardrobe malfunction, Maisie. Good girl. Now, Maisie is very respectful of handling. She's a silly puppy, but she's such a dear little thing. She's a oodle. She's a oodle. Good job. You a oodle? Yeah. Quiet. Okay, now I'm going to come around a circle. Easy. Huh? She's really good on a lead, so I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Alright, now I'm going to be walking around this, so you're going to get people dizzy. Are you going to get outside the circle? Yep. yep. Easy. Hey. Good girl. Now, Maisie is soft enough. The poodle part of her has made her very sensitive little puppy. She only has one cue bone on. Otherwise, just good girl. Maisie, you wait. So on the long line, on two long lines, we get a good sense of that we have control no matter what. Easy. Good. And we're not hurrying to get back to her. She's waiting and she's easy. So when you're walking a dog next to you, very important, this is the attitude. Okay, Maze. Now this is a new word for her. The word is side. Easy. Okay. Maisie, side. Easy. Hey. Easy. Good, easy. Wait. Sit. 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 Wait. She's never known this before. Wait. Now, when you walk a dog in a congested area, and that dog is expecting you to walk away when you say wait, 
you've already established right from the very beginning. Hey, you sit and you wait. Not fight with her up close. Control at a distance. Wait. Good. Wait. Excellent job. Side. Easy. Hey. Easy. Side. Walking slow is the hardest. Easy. Good. Easy. Wait. Sit. Sit. Good. Wait. I'm not going to fight with this dog. We have to come across as in charge from the beginning. Now this is exactly, uh, it's, it's about a few weeks too soon for Kate. My own puppies, I tend to let them go longer. I don't bother to teach this because this takes a lot of the fire out of the dog. This is control. Good. Good way to try Side. Easy. This needs to be slow. Easy. Normal. And even fast. Side. Good side. Good side. Wait. Sit. Sit. I said sit. Thank you. No messing around. No helping her. Park your butt. Good side. Good weight. Good sit. Side. Good side. Good side. Come on. Side. Good. Yes, it means you can't stop. Now along with this, I start the word off. Side. Good side. Off. Good. Hey, easy. Off. Good off. Off. Good side. Easy. Good side. Good side. Good side. What an excellent dog side. Wait. Sit. Yes, you can do it, even next to this puppy. Good sit. And yes, I can visit with the puppy. I thought we were here. You sit, you wait. Hey, you wait. And yes, I can go. You sit and you wait. Hi there. Yes, I can go visit people. And yes, you can be a service dog. What? You want to train these things for the worst scenario. Easy Zach. Side. I'm going to slide that Zach. Okay. Just don't let him get into chairs. No. Easy. Side. Never worked with a wheelchair before. Hey. Side. If I say side, I don't care. Easy. Good side. Come on. Good side. Wait. Easy. Good wait. That's a young dog. Quiet. Thank you. Good sit. And she did it without being told. Good sit. Good wait. Good job. Side. Just when she thinks she's got this figured out. Maisie. On the right. Oh my goodness. Good on the right. Easy. On the right. Good on the right. So, you can have this dog walk any side you want. Good on the right. Wait. Wait. Sit. Good sit. Good wait. It's not pretty yet, but it's getting there. Okay, we're going to be moving on here now to um, beyond the tied second line. Um, more the big, big girl way to do it. Good girl. So, we're going to make a few adjustments here. We'll be ready to go. 
All right. Now, we're going to teach Maisie how to walk next to a person without having to be tethered to that center line. This is kind of, now, you sit. See, I have to be careful and not say the commands. You wait. Sit. Wait. There you go. Okay. Now, this is the transfer of authority. It's hard for me not to talk because, but Sue doesn't know what we're doing, so this is going to be fun. But this will be very much like it will be when her people come. Good girl. Sit. Now, let's switch those, let's switch the collars around so she can, no, I mean, come here, honey. You sit. And let me get this underneath here. There we go. Wait. Why do I want to keep reaching sit. down? Sit. Tell her. Sit and sit wait. Sit and wait. Now, we're going to use the lines to do the correcting. Now, I'm basically a portable post. That's all I am. So you are going to do all the communication. I'll give the commands. You're going to give her the commands. Or I'll give the instructions. You're going to give the commands. All right. So you have to praise her because this is a little kid that's never done this before. So Sue's learning and Maisie's learning too. So are we going to do the side? Yes. Okay. Now you're just going to say side. Forward. Side. Oh, she's good. Good girl. And wait. Good. Hold. Wait. Wait. Sit. Sit. Hold. Sit. Not, not jerk. Hold. There. Good, good sit. Girl. Good wait. Good sit. Good, good wait. wait. Now don't sound too approving. Okay. Forward. Side. Left side. turn. Halt. No. Halt. Don't look at her. Okay. Halt. Tell her Halt. sit and wait. Sit and wait. Sit. Sit. Wait. Good. Good. Wait. Girl. Wait. About turn. Side. Side. Halt. No. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Wait, sit, wait, sit, good wait, good sit, good wait. About turn, side, right turn, halt, sit, sit, wait, good sit, good wait, forward, side, round the column, about turn, you turn to the dog, that's it. And halt. Sit. 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 Wait. Beautiful. Good sit. Good wait. There you go. Girl. Very nice. Good. Now we're going to do it one more time because we've got to get her to understand that when Sue says sit, she's to sit. She says wait, she's to be steady. Look at how calm she is though. Okay, touch her on the head, tell her she's a wonderful dog. Now that's her. You know, praise her up. This is a baby. This is a five month old puppy. Good. She's doing excellent. Good. Alright. Now we're gonna kind of you're gonna walk around me. No, just tell her, come on. Say. No, well, okay. This would be where you'd relax and you'd say, come on, be careful. So you got into position. Good girl. Wait. Wait. Good girl. Oh. You sit. Sit. Good. Tell her. I know. She needs to, when you're doing the side, right. it has to be automatic. Okay. So we're going to tell her in the beginning. But pretty soon the correction and the command happen at the same time. Right. Pretty soon the correction happens and then I use it. So we're going to expect her to do it. Okay. This is where you go from just manners to basically obedience. Right. Forget that. I mean, this is a five-month-old puppy. You and that's all. You're doing good. No, girl. we're not going back to three-month-old. All right. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Well, 
in the scheme of things, she's about a 14-year-old kid. She's not a baby. It's about time she starts to learn. Okay? Two years, she's going to be driving, remember. Forward. Side. No, that, way, that side of the cone. There you go. Good girl. Okay. Left turn. Easy. Halt. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Straight lines. Sit. Wait. Good. About a turn. Good wait. Side. Nice. Okay. You turn into the dog. Tell her off. Off. That's it. Off. Okay. Right straight. Left turn. Off. Off. Halt. Sit. Sit. Now you can see the obedience Sue's trying to correct back. It really takes some practice. You sit and you wait. Forward. You turn into the dog. Halt. Sit. 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 Wait. Beautiful. Good sit. Good wait. Very nice. Good girl. Good sit. Good wait. Good girl. Now, the exercise that sharpens this up. Now, none of this is difficult. It's all stuff you can do at home. Absolutely. Put a stake in the ground. You can work that side exercise. But this is the reinforcement exercise for that. Easy, Kate. She's doing good. between just come on and with me and all the puppy stuff into the performance. Are you tired? Oh man, we went from adding and subtracting to algebra. Oh no. So we can walk along with our dog now. Come on, babe. Good girl. Oh, what a good girl. What a good girl. Nancy, side. Side. Hey, side. Good side. Side. Wait. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Now, it is not fair to make this dog work in a side position all the time. That's no kind of a fun walk. A fun walk is, come on, we're having a good time, it's light, it's fun, it's... The S-I-D-E is when we need that dog by our side and we're, we need it, it's a tight, close area. We can't put up with silly nonsense. This is just easy. 
She's just, come on, I mean, this is what we're doing. She's expected to be calm no matter what. But we only put her to work when we need it. So, your dog cannot be on duty 24-7.